And a boat crashing and partially sinking in Biscayne Bay today. Two people on board rushed to the hospital. Local 10's Ray Ramos live now at the scene for us in Coral Gables with an update. Roy. Calvin, and that boat is now in the process of being taken out of the waters of Biscayne Bay by FWC, and you can see them going over it, trying to gather as much evidence as they can. We have been able to spot a crack to the hull and a rear cracked cowling on top of that engine that you can see right there, but still no word on what caused this crash. A traumatic scene at Matheson Hammock Park as one man with severe injuries is placed on a stretcher to be pulled from a boat onto the dock of a marina and taken away by paramedics. Another man with injuries to his shoulder seen in pain as both are rushed to Jackson South to be treated for their injuries. Sky 10 up above Biscayne Bay as first responders with the U.S. Coast Guard, Miami-Dade Police, and FWC responded to the crash involving this catamaran go-fast boat. A mile east of Matheson Hammock Park, boaters could still see the vessel with its bow sticking out of the water, appearing to be sinking. We spoke with Josue Rodriguez, who tells me he doesn't know what happened, but he was in the process of taking his boat out to meet his friends, he says, are experienced with driving speedboats similar to his own. Rodriguez said he knew what he was doing, and the day was calm. Something must have malfunctioned and gone terribly wrong with the boat. And as we come back out live to that crack cowling right there, you can see investigators with FWC now combing through every little inch of this boat as they work to find out what ultimately caused it to crash and injure the two men aboard. Right now, we're also working to get updates from those investigators as to the conditions of both of the victims that were taken to Jackson South. As soon as we get that information, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, here in Coral Gables, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.